think your blood just kind of runs bolder when you're when you're home. If you're gonna call it a street fight, if there's not gonna be any rules, and if it's gonna have a type of personal nature going into it, I, I just do believe you have to up the ante. I've been super tepid and I've been timid lately with the, the booze and there's been a shit ton of booze and okay, okay, I can't change who I am. The truth is I'm a absolute 100% mother lion and every now and then you gotta show your teeth. Every now and then you gotta remind people like, oh, that guy's the man. I can't wear the world title ever here, but I am, every time I'm out there, I try to be better than the world champion and our world champion's awesome. He's outstanding but it is my job to try and be better than him every single time. And I wanna go into an undiscovered frontier. I wanna go somewhere different. I've seen wrestlers do this. We gotta change. Business has to evolve. I've been around the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega who've evolved the industry. We evolved it together. I wanna to evolve it. In a place that I helped start had a significant part. I can't make that my legacy. Oh, well, he helped start it. He should step away. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. When a young lion's ready to rock and he rips my freaking throat out, then I'll step away. Hangman I mean, means a lot to me and the rest of the Dark Order because there was a while where we were kind of in limbo. We didn't have a direction. He thanks us all the time, but we always thank him for really helping our career. So when he finally got his shot against Kenny Omega, it was a huge moment. I felt so genuinely proud of him because he's worked his entire life. He's such a great guy, and to finally see him be the world champion was, was massive and such a great time. I came out to essentially say one thing. Congratulations, Hangman Adam Page. I never started off with this idea of just tearing through the Dark Order. I came out to congratulate Hangman Adam Page. And like a typical millennial, he gets really upset when I vocalize the idea that, hey, I'm a little surprised and disappointed that it's not Kenny Omega standing across the ring from me right now. If Kenny Omega is Michael Jordan, then Adam Page is Akeem Olajuwon or David Robinson, totally Hall of Famers, excellent world champions. But when you want to win the AEW World Championship from the best, I was really hoping it would be Kenny Omega. It's not me being the asshole like Alan Angels called me. It's those guys. You, you say something direct and straightforward to these guys, and they just take such offense to everything. And I think that just comes from a whole generation of people who have been pampered, aren't used to being told the truth, aren't used to having people tell them like, hey, hey man, I, you know, I think you're great, but I wish I were facing somebody else. Until I fight Adam Page for the AEW World Championship, I'm gonna take every member of the Dark Order and kick all their heads in. I think Brian is finally showing his true colors. I don't think he thinks that he could beat Hangman. His insecurities are coming out. I think he's getting a little upset and a little angry and he's taking it out on the Dark Order. I hear there's a Dark Order member from Long Island and I'm gonna stomp his head in too. I would probably say me versus Brian Danielson is the biggest match of my career. It's in my home of Long Island, New York. I started wrestling when I was 14 years old and now I'm 30. For the longest time, especially for my friends and family at home, all I could tell them if they want to see me wrestle, you got to come to the tiny little gym over here, you got to come to a warehouse. So finally I can tell my friends, my family, you can come see me in the huge UBS arena. And not only can you come see me wrestle there, I'm going to wrestle a former world champion in Brian Danielson. He's usually known for being the fast one, the one with really good striking and good submissions, but that's something I bring to the table as well. I've been doing kickboxing, jujitsu, wrestling my entire life. In my opinion, John Silver is the strongest member of the Dark Order, but here's the thing. There's a saying that says you become the five people you spend the most time around. Does John Silver spend his time around elite people? My argument would be no. Run around making jokes about being Johnny Hungy and fooling around? Do you think that's turning him into a better wrestler? Check out these arms. If you think you're gonna put these arms in some kind of submission, you're out of your mind. I'm freaking strong. I'm a beef boy. And what is he, a vegan?
You cannot touch Brian tonight. But guess what? I can touch Brian tonight! I wasn't joking around at the age of 30. I was winning world championships. This joke! He's beneath me! And here he is, hoping to get a big win in his hometown.本当に嬉しくて今でも信じられないぐらいなんですけとてもほこりに思ってます人生が変わりました私は60人ぐらいのキャパのところで試合をしてたりしてたのでそこから毎回こんな大きな会場で試合できることが本当に嬉しかったし I honestly feel bad about what happened with Jamie and Thunder Rosa in the TBS tournament. Oh! The thrust kick just rocked Hater! Jamie should have held Thunder Rosa a little tighter, I'll say it, but I feel bad to be even involved in what happened and what caused her loss. So, onward and upward we go, right? We spoke about it. We talked it out with friends. Mistakes happen, and that's absolutely okay. We're looking forward to the horizon, and in that horizon is me beating Rio and getting revenge for my good friend, Britt Baker. Rio winning that match against Britt on Rampage, in my opinion, was a fluke. First off, I was hardly prepared to have to wrestle. It was a gift, a Black Friday deal, sale, match. I don't give a shit. She's got the ankle captured and Rio wins! She got the pin, what an upset! ベルトを落としてベルトを落として自分がAW で何ができるのかとか何をしていいのかとかがこうしてチャンスをもらってそのチャンスを生かすことができてブリットに勝つことができてすごく嬉しいし今すごく自信につながってますブリッドベイカー